My name is Tiffany Eilick, and I'm so excited to share with you incredible stories of women from around the North who are leading amazing lives. This is Northern Her. We all know that water is life. We hold it precious and we consume it every single day of our lives to survive. In the Northwest Territories, there is a vast interconnected network of lakes and rivers. In fact, the largest lakes, the Great Bear Lake and the Great Slave Lake, cover an area of over 600,000 kilometers. That's larger than the entire province of Nova Scotia. These waterways create an essential pathway for boats in the summer and ice roads in the winter. Expert paddler, survivalist, and wilderness guide Kathy Alalu didn't grow up in the wilderness. In fact, she grew up in London, Ontario. It wasn't until she went to the University of Alberta in Edmonton that she realized she wanted to spend her entire life outdoors and on the water. Kathy has spent the last 30 years building a family business with its focus on helping people stay safe out on the water. And speaking of Kathy's family, She's my mom. Let's take a look. Well, it's always humbling to experience the power of moving water, the forces involved. If you've seen a canoe and it hits a rock, like just the whole forces and the power involved uh, can be very humbling. It's nice just to be in the moment, just to be in the moment. And I have to say that, you know, I've gone through a lot of life experiences that have been very, very challenging, but when I'm on the river and I'm surfing that wave, everything else disappears and I'm right there present in the moment. And it's very healing and it's very therapeutic. Okay, let's try surf just below here a little bit. I own and operate along with a couple of my children a company called Narwhal Northern Adventures. And we've been operating here out of Yellowknife uh, for over 30 years. In addition to paddling tours, instructional programs and rentals, we also have winter programs. We do survival training. We do igloo building. Okay, good. We do Inuit culture programs and wilderness first aid training as well. Beautiful day. Kathy Alu is a longtime Yellowknifer, and at the age of 63, she is still running and operating her own wilderness adventure company. It's difficult to actually make a living teaching paddling. It's a bit hand to mouth for a while. Lots of caribou meat and rice uh, on the, the dinner menu every night, and but it was what I really enjoyed. It's what I took my training originally to do, which was in the outdoors and uh, outdoor pursuits and, and sharing my passion for the outdoors with, with other people. The boats we use for many of our uh, tours are 29-foot Langley's. They're pigs on the land, they weigh over 500 pounds, but when you get them in the water, they're absolutely beautiful. They're very stable. They each hold a dozen guests, plus the pilot. And it's just a, a magnificent way to get people out on the water with not a lot of prerequisite skill. So a quick uh, introduction, uh, I'm Kathy, for those of you that haven't met me. I, along with uh, my daughter Tiffany and my son Devin, own a company called Narwhal Northern Adventures. Now before we get into our safety briefing, I would like to acknowledge that uh, we are on the land of uh, Treaty 8, Akecho, Dene, Dragis territory, and we're thankful for the privilege of being here. It's very important that everyone wear their life jacket at all times when we're in the boat and it needs to be zipped up. You want them snug but not uncomfortable. So think, if I'm in the water, I don't want it to pop off over my head. We're going to hand out canoe paddles, so come on over. Okay, anyone else need a paddle? 
So we are about to launch on a canoeing adventure with a group of teachers from Ecole de Sassir. And, and Duke. The plan is we will load up in our two 29-foot Voyager canoes. There's about 20 of us. We will paddle up the river from the bridge, land on Cinnamon Island. The two ladies in this next seat. So it's, it's customary for us to just say a prayer before we go. Is everybody okay with that? Ask the Creator to give us a safe journey. So we do thank the Creator for this wonderful day, this wonderful season, and the geese are flying over and the colors are changing. We ask that you give us a safe journey and watch over our loved ones while we are away. Drift on the wind, drift on the water, drift on the wind, drift on the water, drift on the wind, drift on the water. Through your eyes I find something deep inside me. Oh, very good. So right now we are on Cinnamon Island and we've paddled for about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes from the Yellowknife River Bridge. And we are just waiting for the soup to get hot. It's moose stew and bannock that we're going to have for lunch. The moose was harvested by my son Devin and the bannock was made this morning at about 4 o'clock. Uh, with uh, my daughter Tiffany and I and so we're going to enjoy some soup and bannock, some metis butter which is two of my favorite things together, maple syrup and butter in one dish. I think the most awesome part of the day is that my daughter Tiffany thinks that this is still awesome. And she thinks that what her mom does is awesome. And for any mother, no matter what you do, if your kids think that you're awesome and what you do is awesome, then it just makes your heart burst. It's pretty great. I'm very, very excited to paddle with my daughter Tiffany today. It's been a while since we've paddled together and I know her to be a very accomplished paddler. This is the dangerous water level right now because there's rocks on either side that could uh, kind of mess with you. If you hit them and then they're going to toss you a bit right when you don't want them to. So it's it's been a little while since I've paddled tart and what, uh, what's changed? Well, the water's low this year, so the water tends to channel right into that head wall at this water level. It is a typical northern Canadian shield uh, river. Up here we get, because of the granite, we get a lot of pool and drop. So there'll be flat water and we get everything thrown at you at once. Head walls and boulder gardens, rooster tails keeper keeper waves and such and then it's flat again so you have to be really on top of your game so our channel is fairly narrow you'll notice when we're just above that there's rocks on right and left we're gonna to have to dodge between them but at the same time we have to go over that drop a little bit sideways so that way we're lined up at the right moment we'll power forward and drive into that eddy at, uh, below the big rock on river left okay so you want to peel out then if you end up there? Okay, got it. Okay, ready when you are. Okay, here we go. And then we'll spin there. Tight spin, the current differential is quite strong there, so you're going to have to lean pretty hard. Uh, at that point, after that point, we're not going to peel out again. We just let the current turn us in the eddy. If we peel out, we go right into the head wall. <laughs> but we'll have time to talk about our next move in that eddy. That was fun. What do you want to do now? Done that for a while. <laughs> you have to just power up almost straight upstream on this side. And then we have to just be mindful of the shelf. Thankfully, not since 1980 has anyone actually died there. 
but there is huge risk. So please, if you're if you're planning on paddling at Tartan or any river for that matter, please take some training first uh, from a qualified, certified uh, professional and make sure you're doing it safely. So let's do a couple of side slips while we're getting our line on the last drop. Our line will be a little bit to the left so that we have some distance over which to gain some momentum to drive in behind, below that exposed rock there. So we'll peel out under that rock. Depends if we need to bail or not. <laughs> if we need to bail, we'll go right. Okay, so let's start by just side slipping just for fun. Okay, let's ferry across. Okay, perfect, right there. A little bit more left. Okay, now drive, 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 drive. See the spot right there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice to paddle. So nice to paddle with you again, Tipper. Yeah, I missed you. Too, Mama. Really nice. Oh, make me proud. <laughs> <laughs>